This is not financial advice. I just hooked a bunch of other mates, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in. Because if they dip, Ric Flair, baby, woo, you not going to buy the dip. And then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me. And I'm not having that. So if you can't endure the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Now, let's get straight to the point. The first banger on the list is the big dog, the beast, the banger, AMC Entertainment. And AMC at the time of this recording is currently $18.88. It's up 15% on a day. It's down 0.32 in after hours. It's up 25.78% on the week. And contrary to popular belief, AMC is still up on the year. It's up over 224% on the year to be exact. Now, let's see what's going on with AMC because we have a whole lot of information going on. I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Now, let's get it. Currently, what's going on with AMC? One of the many things, Ortex, they said this, and Ortex is a data reporting institution. You can think of it like that. And they said this, short interest and utilization update. Utilization in both GameStop and AMC hits 100% as securities lending activity is increasing. And I'll explain and actually have them explain, because, you know, we got the receipts, what they mean by 100% utilization. They then went on to say the cost to borrow is also increasing rapidly and especially in GameStop. AMC at the time that they posted that was up 11%, GameStop ran up 5 But let's see, what do they mean by utilization on GameStop and AMC was 100%? They said this, utilization of 100% means that at the start of the trading this morning, all available shares were lent out. Every single share that was available to be lent was lent out. Now, think about how a short seller works. They go and they borrow shares. They try to sell them at the top and then buy them back at the bottom and then pocket the difference before then returning the shares that they borrowed. And it says that morning or this morning, they basically lent out all shares and the short seller scooped them all up in an effort to allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically manipulate the market. But let's keep it going. It says more shares are constantly being made available and the live cost to borrow data indicates that these shares are being lent at a much higher rate today than in recent days. So they have to pay a lot more money to basically borrow these shares, but they don't even care about that. They're so desperate to borrow the shares. So what I want you to do is go over to the Discord and join that with us so you can be up on any of the plays that we get in when we get in and you can learn how to do options. For example, when DWAC fell down, I got a put option. I was able to make a quick $277 on that, right? And when BBIG was running up a little bit, I was able to make a quick $430 with that. I want to teach you how to do that so you could turn a small 1% or 2% gain on a stock into a 20, 30, or 100% gain on an option when you learn how to do the options game. Now, join the options class with us. Now, Discord link is in the top of the comment. Let's take a look at a few pieces of news before we get to the data. So, some of the news is this. Investor Place, they said that AMC stock, basically, this is what they have. Two pieces of information. They're actually the same piece of information, but in two different locations. AMC stock alert. The theater news sending AMC Entertainment soaring today, among many other pieces of news, is this. And they said, what happened with AMC? The company confirmed that it has reached lease agreements for two new theaters where in San Diego and in Washington, D.C. And it says these two venues will open in February and in March. And both are high traffic metro areas with a large theater going market. So we keep hearing time and time again that AMC are a dying movie theater. The movie theater in general is dying, blah, blah, blah. We keep hearing all of these things, but then we keep hearing the good news like this. And you see how the market is reacting to it, that they're opening two new theaters in very high traffic areas. So we love to see that because it's showing us that the company is expanding and growing out among many other catalysts that happened today that helped to pump AMC up to the moon. So now, and it's not even on the moon yet. It's just up 15%. Let's be clear on that, right? But let's keep it going. Another piece of information is this. So Adam Aaron told us today that he said, importantly, we just hired a new vice president at AMC. So new AMC vice president, her name is Ellen Kopakin, which I had to learn how to say today. And it has a ton of brand management or she has a ton of brand management and grocery experience. She used to work at Pepsi or with Pepsi, Frito-Lay, Hostess, and many others, right? And it says her first assignment will be to quarterback the rollout in 2022 
of our new broad-based popcorn initiative, right? So we keep hearing that, you know what? Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime Video, all of these streaming services are taking market share away from who would be moviegoers. This is the narrative that they want to paint. But you know what? AMC says, hey, let's say some people do want to watch movies at home, but they still like AMC popcorn. How about we still deliver that experience to them at home where they could go and buy AMC popcorn and then the company can still make money off of concessions exactly the same way that they would make it in the movies, but perhaps at a different rate. So now let's keep it going. So this is Ellen Kopak and I had to Google her so we can see what she looks like and this is her. But then on my search of Googling who this woman is, and again, shout out to her, I found out that she's actually quite popular with the apes. And who are the apes? The AMC apes. And they said, when a snack sells a snack. So I guess this is a good move, at least in the eyes of the apes. You let me know if you feel like this is going to be a good move with having a new vice president basically selling AMC popcorn and getting that rollout for us. So now let's go back and let's take a look at another piece of interesting news that I am so happy to see being an AMC diamond handed ape myself. And it's this. Let's look at the call options in green versus the put options in red. The call options are basically many different bets that the stock is going to go up by when? Friday the 11th. And then the put options are mostly best that the stock is going to come down by also Friday the 11th. There are many different dates, but let's focus on these two up top. I have not seen since about May, when AMC shot up from about 10 to 12, all the way to 70. I have not seen this amount of calls go in the money and get as close to the number out of the money. What do I mean by that? Take a look at this. There's currently 60,398 call options in the money. And this is neck and neck with the amount of call options that are out of the money. So this means that a lot of the bets that AMC was going to go up by Friday are actually way in the money and they're actually killing it right now and i love to see it and conversely it puts the call the put options rather out of the money and there are now twelve thousand of them the best that it was going to come down in the money versus the seventy-eight thousand of them out of the money so if you buy an option for those of you who are new you and you want to hold it to expiration you want it to be in the money if it's out of the money it's going to expire worth zero so let's keep it going and let's check out some of the facts we know that AMC is being heavily traded on a dark pool and the SEC knows this as well to the point that we don't even believe the numbers that we see nowadays because we heard from Gary Gensler, who is the head of the SEC, that it's about 90 to 95 percent of all retail trades trading on the dark pool. So when you look at AMC and you see that it says 55.2 percent, 63.7 percent. Now, I'm sure these numbers are accurate from the data sources that were given. But we now know that even these numbers, when we're looking at them for over a year now, is just a piece of the pie. But the whole pie and the whole story is even nastier because we know that the short sellers and basically the largest institutions are selling amc on a dark pool at a crazy ridiculous rate now let's check this out let's look at ortex again and look at their data specifically for wednesday as of 7 p.m when this screenshot was taken or 7 a.m and it says the short interest is 21.17 percent which is about 108 million shares i want you to consider that amc has about 500 million legal shares that are now authorized and out in the circulating supply meaning that about 21 percent of all of those shares are being used to bet against the company. Now, when you hear the phrase that the shorts have not covered, what does this mean? This means that 20% of all of the stocks need to be bought back and then, you know what, returned to the lender. They have to be purchased because they're out in the market and we are all waiting for them to all be purchased and we hope that they're all purchased in a short amount of time so you know what, it can squeeze the short sellers and then take us all the way to the moon. Remember, I'm not telling you to buy AMC. I'm not telling you to hold AMC. I'm not telling you to sell AMC. I want to give you the facts so then you can be the judge. But let's check this out. The cost to borrow minimum kind of like the interest rate for the short sellers to borrow these is 0.5 but we see that it's getting higher and higher look at the cost to borrow max at almost four percent at 3.94 percent so we see it going up and the average is currently 1.32 but we see this according to ortex getting higher and higher and higher so now let's check out some other pieces of data for example, when you look at the dark pool numbers over here, the dark pools for AMC Entertainment, it says that it's still $1.5 billion worth of this company was traded over on a dark pool in net selling. So they're doing a lot of selling of AMC over on the dark pool. And we have to make sure that we're keeping our eyes on these numbers because every so often they get ridiculous. Keep in mind, this is ridiculous, but if it got even more ridiculous, we would not even be surprised by that. So let's see this because I have not seen a high price target for AMC in a very long time. And I look at CNN business right now today for price targets at 18 
87. They said at the high price target from Wall Street, someone has it priced at 35.10 for a price target for one year from now. Someone else has it at six and someone else has it at one. But to even see a price target of 35.10 is surprising to me because I know how the institutions like to play AMC. So now I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Hit the Discord link so you can be up on the plays as early as we are. I also want you to click right here so you can watch this video. Now, I'll see you in the next one, and I'll see you on the Discord. Again, if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen, consider investing in index funds. I love y'all, and take care.